Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix the KB5035853 NAT installing on Windows 11 23H2 and respectively 22H2. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then click on the settings icon, afterwards click on system on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and select it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters, and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update service. To do so, press the Windows button, type in Services and then select it from the search results. Now in here, scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service and simply right-click on it and select the Restart option. Alternatively, you can also double-click on this service and then next to Startup Type, click on the drop-down menu and select Automatic. Then click on Apply and OK to save the changes restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the SFC scan. To do so, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below, but make sure to wait it out because the scan procedure can take a bit of time. Then restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution that regards CMD is to use or reset the Windows Update component. To do so, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, copy-paste the following commands one by one from the description below, so press enter after each command, then copy the next command, so forth and so on, until the whole process is finished. Afterwards, restart your computer, and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to install the update directly from the Microsoft catalog. To do this, open up your default browser and then access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official Microsoft update catalog where you can get the installer files directly. So type in the KB that is problematic for you, then click on search. And as you can see, in our case, we're trying to fix this KB. Make sure to choose the version that fits your architecture, then click on the download button. And then in the next window, click on the hyperlink, choose a location, preferably on your desktop, and then click on save. Now simply wait until the download is finished, then minimize your browser and access the installer file. From here on, Windows will take care of the installation and all you have to do is just relax and wait until the KB is installed. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.